Now a good performing laptop doesn't have to cost you a fortune nowadays, with the market being cluttered with young companies trying to bring their mark on a great budget option. At a price of little over £300, this might just be a perfect choice. This is a 15.6 inch quad core slim Zilbuk laptop by a company called Coolby. Well that's all good and well, but if it doesn't perform that cheap price range, well it's going to mean nothing. So let's take a look at this product and unbox it. In the box, it is a very undesirable unboxing feeling. The box is very basic and you really only get the laptop, user manual and a basic charger. But it does mean your laptop is ready out of the box with very little work to get this up and running. The laptop is equipped with an Intel quad-core processor with a turbo frequency of 2.5GHz. Internally, we're rocking a great amount of RAM at 8GB, certainly sufficient enough for everyday tasks. Unfortunately, we do only get 256GB of internal memory but we are using SSD so we're getting some great fast feedback. So those are the basics, but let's take a little look at the exterior of this laptop first. Despite its cheap price, I am very surprised at the build quality. It is freakishly slim, but surprisingly doesn't feel plasticky. At only 1.5 kilograms in weight, this is a very compact unit. What sets this apart from other laptops is its cleverly designed screen. The bottom part protrudes so that you can get a decline on the keyboard, raising it enough to make typing on a desk a very nice experience. Now this is one feature I really like, and you don't realise just how much it comes in useful. I really do like the large scale keyboard. The keys are solid and feel very tactile upon impact. It makes touch typing a very enjoyable experience. Partnered up with that large touchpad which is okay but it's not fantastic. I will say it is good enough for light work though. Sometimes it feels like it lags behind but that might just be due to the friction caused by the touchpad's material. I'm hoping this might improve once it ages a little. In terms of ports it has enough to get you going. With two USB USB 3.0s, one HDMI mini port for display output, one headphone jack and one TF slot. So you're certainly not short of connectivity options to expand that storage further. The USB 3.0 slot will offer you some quick writing speeds with compatible 3.0 devices like memory sticks or external hard drives. So I wouldn't worry about that 256 gigabytes of internal memory. I personally keep your operating system and programs purely on this and save your large files onto an external memory source to keep this running smoothly. Now the screen is thin and I do mean thin. At 15.6 inches though you have plenty of surface space to stare at. It is a full HD 180 display, obviously nowadays a lot of laptops are coming with at least 1440p and sometimes more, but I still think 180p is sufficient for the intended use of this laptop. The colours are rich and the sharpness surprisingly very good. Now this comes in hand in hand with document processing and your workflow. I would safely say the intended use for this laptop is for students and office workers. The battery isn't anything special, but I personally think that is to be expected due to its compact design. In here we have a 34.2 watt hour battery that should deliver around 6 to 8 hours for slight office work or processing. Now obviously if you push it by doing more demanding things like video viewing, editing or light video game playing, you're only going to get around 5 to 6 hours so that is a huge difference. The internal speakers are okay, they are slightly tinny when your volume hits the higher end of the volume scale, but I think once again it's kind of to be expected for the price range, and this main selling point for this laptop is to purely be for slight office work. The LPDDR4 8GB of RAM provides an excellent response time when dealing with multitasking and routine work, and I mean that on a wide scale. Anything from editing office files, browsing websites and so much more, it does deal with it quite well. If you start pushing it by cluttering up that limited storage space and preferably using demanding software, you're going to see some drops in performance. But that's not the device's intention, as I've stated many times in this video. It is purely to be used for light work. Now I'm really in love with this laptop. The portability and the sleek design is very desirable for a range of audiences, from students to office workers or just individuals looking for their first user-friendly laptop. Pre-installed with Windows 10, one of the most user-friendly operating systems we've had in a while, this laptop is very much targeted at those looking for an easy, simplistic experience on a budget. The value for money here is rewarding, and certainly a laptop that should be considered for anyone looking for an affordable yet reasonable powerful machine to cope with the day-to-day -day tasks we require. All in all, for the price range, it is certainly a product to consider. So take a look at this product in the link in the description, let me know what you think, and as always, till next time.